The bold move to make a narcissist who tries to destroy you regret his actions. In today's video, I want to delve into the complex topic of dealing with narcissists. It's a topic that has been discussed time and time again, but there are always new insights to be gained. I believe that it's important to understand the psychology behind the behavior of narcissists. They're experts at reading your emotions and responding in a way that benefits them. They can make you feel special and distinct, but this is only a reflection of their own self-centeredness. If a narcissist wants to get back together with you, it's important to be wary of their intentions. They may come bearing gifts and words of affection, but you must ask yourself, what do they really want? Their motives are always self-centered, and you shouldn't let yourself be manipulated by their charm. One effective way to deal with a narcissist is to set boundaries. Let them know that their behavior is not acceptable and that you will not tolerate it. This can be a difficult task, as narcissists can be skilled at manipulating you into changing your mind. But it's important to stick to your boundaries, even if it means cutting off contact with them. If necessary, you may need to expose their behavior. They often try to hide their true selves from others, but shining a light on their behavior can be a powerful tool. This can involve talking to others about your experiences with a narcissist or even confronting them directly. Still, the most important part is to take care of yourself first. Narcissists can be emotionally draining and may try to make you feel small and insignificant. But remember, you are valuable and worthy of respect. Take time for self-care, whether it's through meditation, exercise, or spending time with loved ones. It's possible that some narcissists will continue to try to get in touch with you, and dealing with them can have consequences similar to being hit by a boomerang. They will persist in probing and searching for a way to insert themselves back into your life, especially if they need you as a reliable supplier or if they have some other motive to harm you. There are two main reasons why a narcissist may want to re-establish a relationship, to feel valued and to feel secure in a long-term commitment. When hoovering, narcissists take their time as they are easily distracted by what they perceive as more important matters. If they cannot find an exceptional prospect or a sufficient number of suitably qualified applicants, they are likely to return to their previous partner. Therefore, it is probable that they will attempt to come back into your life and continue their harassing behavior. Contrary to popular belief, a devil wielding a pitchfork will not harm you. A narcissist, however, might come knocking on your door, pretending to be an angel offering gifts. Narcissists recognize that it's in their best interest to develop an emotional attachment to the people they later intend to use for their own benefit. They seek to win their trust in order to transform their victims into submissive servants. Even after you have cut off contact with the narcissist, their flying monkeys may continue to report on your whereabouts and spread lies about you. Once you recognize a narcissist and implement a no-contact policy, you should be prepared to extend this rule to include any friends or family members who are inadvertently acting as flying monkeys for the narcissist. If you spend any time with a narcissist, all of your actions become tools that they can use to track your location and determine the best time to contact you, whether it's to violate the no-contact agreement or to catch you off guard after a loss, such as a death in the family, a breakup, or a promotion. Therefore, it is advisable to be cautious and prepare to defend yourself against the narcissist's attempts to re-enter your life. The narcissist's next tactic is to play the victim card. They may claim that they have decided that death is preferable to living a life without you. If someone threatens bodily violence if you leave them or refuse to take them back, they are being manipulative. As you are their last and best chance, they will show their desperation in front of others if they can. The victim may be subjected to a deluge of apologies, pledges of remorse, and crocodile tears. Narcissists have perfected the art of wailing on stage. They believe that an emotional appeal will sway our decision. Yet, trusting in them is not the only choice you have at this point. Narcissists, whether male or female, keep their emotional reserves on high alert. The tears are not the only thing that has been faked. Narcissists abuse our freedom of choice by making us doubt whether or not to let them back into our life. They resort to almost any tactic to gain our pity, usually succeeding in appealing to our better angels. Because of this, 
they will likely try to win you over by displaying attributes like charisma, sympathy, a compelling story, and perhaps even tears. They will resort to any means necessary to gain your sympathy, pity, assistance, or backing. The narcissist has zero compassion and is unconcerned with our suffering. The only thing they care about is using us for their own gain. They anticipate that we will stoke their inflated feeling of self-importance and gratify their narcissistic needs. Don't take their forks kindness or promises of assistance lying down. Instead, counterattack. It is safe to disregard the narcissist's outward demonstrations of generosity because their acts are more likely to be driven by self-interest with the intent of robbing or murdering you. They are completely unashamed to use their charming attitude as a negotiating advantage. Accepting a gift is appropriate if doing so will bring the giver intended joy. These phony sorrowful emotions are quite convincing. Narcissists are like those who wait at your door in the vain hope that you'll let them back in. No matter how long it takes a narcissist to get you where they want you to be, days, weeks, months or years, as soon as they do, they will instantly start their destructive actions or begin their plans to ruin you. Most people assume that when narcissists make mistakes, all the victim needs to hear is an explanation or apology, followed by a guarantee that the behavior in question won't happen again. However, if given the opportunity, narcissists will always seek to cause harm to those around them. They may even try to re-enter the building if the door is left unlocked. To get rid of the narcissist and their annoying flying monkeys, both parties need to be eliminated. If the narcissist were to lose one, they are likely to get rid of both flying monkeys. As long as you meet the narcissist's requirements, they will continue to care about you. A narcissist may employ the flying monkey tactic, thinking that you will like them again if they act extremely sympathetic or nice. Anyone the narcissist might pay to assist them in regaining power should be avoided at all costs. The dreaded next time will eventually come around, but only in due time. Look out for telltale signs of the narcissist is making a comeback, and don't be shy about discussing the tactics you believe they're using to win you back. To be honest, I can't think of anything else to say right now. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Please share your thoughts or ask questions in the space provided below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell and notifications. Thank you very much for watching this.